he was a great man. We gather here to mourn the passing of American greatness, the real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave so willingly, nor the opportunistic appropriation of those who live lives of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. As a girl, I did not fully appreciate what I most fully appreciate now, how he suffered and how he bore it with a stoic silence that was once the mark of an American man. I came to appreciate it first when he demanded it of me. I was a small girl thrown from a horse and crying from a busted collarbone. My dad picked me up, he took me to the doctor, and he got me all fixed up. Then he immediately took me back home and made me get back on that very same horse. I was furious at him as a child, but how I love him for it now. For the rest of my life, whenever I fall down, I get back up. Whenever I am hurt, I drive on. The America of John McCain is, yes, the America of Vietnam. Fighting the fight, even in the most forlorn cause, even in the most grim circumstances, even in the most distant and hostile corner of the world. Standing even defeat for the life and liberty of other peoples in other lands. The America of John McCain is generous and welcoming and bold. She is resourceful and confident and secure. She meets her responsibilities. She speaks quietly because she is strong. America does not boast because she has no need to. The America of John McCain has no need to be made great again because America was always great.